You are the fire. An unbelievable hour of Mari starts now. One woman, one baby. So far, five men tested. Not, 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 not. The fire. Will the search end today? Do you think he could be your son's father? I really hope so. Corey? Okay. Oh my God, break me. He said it wasn't his baby. I dumped that girl for a reason because she got fat. There is one person who helps you, your Aunt Marlita. Take care of your kids! I'm not my baby. I'm going to see right now. Ah! Not my Did baby. That's that not my up. baby. I got a phone call that a baby pressed me. It actually been my real father. When it comes to 22-year-old Carrie Presley. Now we both know. James was shot in the head and slipped into a coma. I was there every single day, and now. I know I'm not the father of that baby. I was in a coma, so how can I be sleeping with her? Your mother's very upset at you. You are her father! Well, let's find out. Everyone, this is Now, Angela, years ago, was addicted to alcohol, admitted to sleeping with over 100 men at one time. It was during that time that she became pregnant with her now two-and-a-half-year-old son, Brandon. Now, I want to tell you, five men have appeared on our show, and they have been proven not to be Brandon's father. And so today, Angela's back, and we've given a DNA test to the sixth man named Corey, who wants to be and is the father of this adorable little boy. So before we find out the results, take a look at Angela's past appearance on the show. The first time we met Angela, her painful, troubled past was revealed. I started drinking at 13. My life consisted of partying, having sex, and blacking out. During that time, I slept with over 100 men. When I found I was pregnant, I was scared to death. I spent the last two years looking for the man that could be my son's father. My son may wake up one day and say, who's daddy? And I won't be able to tell him. These were the three that you were seeing around the time that you got pregnant? Yes. In the case of two-year-old Brandon, James, you are not the father. No! Brandon, not the father. No! Lee, not the father. Still desperate for answers, Angela soon returned with two more men to be tested. David, you are not the father. DeAndre, you are not the father. Strangely enough, the guy that's coming on the show today called us. Yes. Do you know that? Yes. Corey called us. Yes. Now tell us about Corey. He's a really nice guy. He has a, a really good heart. You think he could be your son's father? I don't know, Maury. I, I really hope so. Corey really wants to be and believes he could be the father to Brandon. Take a look at what he has to say. I called the show looking to see if I can get a DNA test because Brandon had that certain smile just like me. And Maury said that none of the five guys was her father. I was pretty stunned. You are not the father. Not the father. Not the father. Didn't really know what to do about it. I just kept thinking, man, that baby could be mine. Here I am, the sixth man to be tested. I hope I can find out that I am the father of Brandon. And they can let Angela stop the search. Here he is, Corey. Corey, come on out. So, Corey, you want to be the father, don't you? Yeah, I really do. Now, what happens if you're not the father? Do you think you still have a connection with him? I'm still going to be there for him. I see. And I'm still going to teach him everything I can. Anything you want to say before we read the results? I just really want to thank you for coming and stepping up and being a, a good man and, and coming up on the show and taking the test. We want it to happen. In the case of two and a half year old Brandon, Corey, you are not the <laughs>
Angela. Angela. want to continue the search, we'll help you, all right? Okay. I'm still going to help you out, all right? Thank you. This is Jury. Now, Jury fell so much in love with this man, Eric, she gave up everything for him. Her life, her family, her education. She also supported him financially, sure paid did. for his food, yeah. paid for his clothes, got him a job. <laughs> but then... When Jury got pregnant, I don't know what you're shaking your head for. When Jury got pregnant with her now eight-month-old daughter, Naima, Aww. Eric calls her on the phone and says to her, "Would you mind if we broke up?" <laughs> Since then, Jury has gone back to school. She has reclaimed her life, and she's determined to prove that Eric is the father of her daughter. What do you think of him? He's not even a, a man. You don't have a man on more this earth. Why are you here? No, you're not. You're not a father. That's what you're not. Of a baby I, hope that I, know that I hope you don't think you are a dad, cause you really ain't. You really ain't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the dad of that baby. Uh, no. You ain't the daddy of my baby. You're not the father of my baby. Oh, we gonna see it <laughs> when the test comes. That's what you my baby. You gonna take care of her. That's what you gonna do. That's what you gonna do. That's what you gonna do. Jerry. I know that. Jerry. I know that. Jerry. Jerry. Yes. You're back in school. Yes, I am. I'm so back in school. So who's raising, helping you? It's helping me Venice. raise. Yes, Venice. It's helping me raise my daughter. There's your mother yes, right there. That's my mother right there. That's right. Right there. You get up at five. I get up at five o'clock in the morning. Get her ready yes. for the day. Feed her. Comb her hair. Then I gotta catch three buses just to get to school. Right. I'm doing everything 24/7. Raising her on my own. He's not doing nothing. He's not doing nothing. I bet you my still kid, love that's him. That's why. Yes, it is yours, Eric. You still love him. I know you love him. No, though. love don't live here no more. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. Eric thinks that he's not the father, and this is what he had to say. Watch this. Jerry is a game player. She sits around wanting handouts for her and her child, but she's not going to get them from me. Once I found out what she was about, I got rid of her, and I'm not taking care of another man's baby. Jerry and her mother would not let me take the baby from their house to mine. They wanted me to be a part time father, so it must not be my kid. Jerry tried to act like this responsible adult, but she acts like a child. Her his mother needs to stop her grow up. Jerry, you and your mother need to back off me. You can take your goody to shoe act and shove it. Eric, come on out. To Good to see you. How are you? Eric, you all don't look alike. No. Nope. Oh, my God. You're going to sit there and say she don't look like you? Nope. You know that's your daughter. No, you know she's But Eric. That's not my daughter. But Eric. Oh, my God. You would do admit to having a relationship with her, right? It was just something to do. Oh, it was something to do. It was just something to do. Something to do. Something to do. Okay. We'll see. We'll see about that. So who is buying you something? Close. What other reasons do you think you're not the father? Okay, okay. When we, uh, when she had the baby or whatever, yes, I was coming over there to see her and all that. But why? But but why couldn't I take her home with me? Yeah, she's my daughter. No, because I don't I don't trust that. Yeah, Benice, she 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 just just stop baby and uh, Jorin just let her grow up. No, no, mom. First of all, she has a lot to do with it because she's there and you're not. Well, act like, like a little and, boy. And, well, and, you like it. and do you think that? Well, act like it. And do you think Jorin harasses your family? Yes. Well. Harass think, your family? I yes, don't you never do. call your house unless it's really, if I really, really need to call your house, that's when I call. I don't care about you what you got going back. on. You want me back. If I did, you I would want be calling your house 24-7. Eric, Eric, Why are you getting on TV trying to have Eric, uh, whose tattoo what? do you have on your wrist? My name, he got my name on his arm. There's one other person here, and that's Venice, the grandmother. She has a few things she wants to say. I'm a good Christian woman. I trust people. I trusted Eric with my daughter. I let him in my home. I had him at my dinner table. How dare he disrespect us like that? Eric is a lying, manipulative coward. If God wasn't my savior, I would punch Eric dead in the face for what he's doing to my daughter. I watch Naima and can go to school and get her education. 
I'm a firm believer that what goes around comes around. And I pray to God that you get what you deserve. All right, everybody. a lie. Yeah, what's the lie? Hi, New York. First of all, I'm a Christian woman. I will not get up here. It's I don't need to cut. But this is a deadbeat dad. I'm a good dad. You are a deadbeat dad if you sit up here lying about everything. Now. And you know oh, you well. lying. Oh, well. You don't try to come right here oh, well. and do nothing for Naomi. Oh, well. You know it. Oh, well. I do. Have Your you daughter allowed, is not no saint, so that's it. Like it. she is. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm She is not no saint. Your daughter is not no saint. She was, she, was she was with you. She was only with you. What are you talking about? Vinice, sit you, down. Sit down, Vinice. Why don't you just tell the truth, Eric? Let's I find out. Y'all shut up. 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 Y'all need to shut up. I'm a grown ass. It comes to eight month old Naima. Beautiful little girl that she is. Oh, look at T. Eric, you are the father. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for putting y'all, you know, what y'all You already knew that, that, so why did you have to bring I had to know for sure. David found out his daughter could be another man's baby. It hurts so bad. What do you think of him? I think he's a worth his David. <laughs> oh my God, freak me. He said it wasn't his baby. I dumped that girl for a reason because she got fat. James was shot in the head. He slipped into a coma. I was there every single day, and now... I know I'm not the father of that baby. I was in a coma, so how can I be sleeping with her? I know I'm not the father of that baby. I was in a coma. You are her father! Well, let's find out. When my next guest, David, met this woman, Nicole, love at first sight. He knew instantly that she was his soulmate. So naturally, David was overjoyed when he found out just two weeks later, Nicole was pregnant with his child. But then, out of the blue, Nicole drops a bombshell. Nicole revealed that David may not be the father of her unborn baby. And that another man named James might be the father. So today, baby Ivory is one year old. David is the only father. David's the only father she's ever known. Watch. When I found out Nicole was pregnant, I was, I was happy, I was thrilled, I was, I was glad to be a dad. But when Nicole told me I might not be mine, it hurt so bad. It hurt me inside and it, it, it made me cry. I don't know what to believe, because everyone tells me she's not. I really want her to be my daughter. My family means everything. My, my family means my heart and soul. If I'm not Ivy's father, I'll have to leave because I can't stay with the co or the baby to, and raise a baby that's not mine. Now, I want everybody to know, for the record, the other fella wants to be the father, as well as David. How do you, how'd you feel when she said this to you? It hurt. It hurt bad because I was my heart and soul. I've been there since Ivy was born. And I love Ivy with all my heart. Right. You think she's your daughter? Yes, I do. I believe it. And I want, I want her to be my daughter. You think you, she looks like you? Yes. David, what was the best moment in your life? Being there for Ivy's birth, getting to cut that umbilical cord. You met James? Yes, I have. What do you think of him? I think he's the worth his <laughs> for the last. <laughs> for the last year. For the last 14 months, Ivy's been born. I've, I've had job after job buying diapers, wipes, formula. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't once brought over diapers, wipes, or formula. Are you going to stay with Nicole if, if she's not? No, I can't raise a baby that's not mine. Okay, we're going to to James in a moment. First, there's Nicole, of course. Let's hear what she had to say. David means a lot to me. And if I lose him, I am going to be nothing without him. I got pregnant in the very beginning of my relationship. I kept a big secret from David. Right before me and David got together, 
I had sex with a guy named James. Now I don't know who's the father of my daughter, Ivory. David has always been a good father. He's always been there for her. All I want is for him to be the father. Okay, everybody, welcome Nicole. Here's Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Good to see you. Nicole, have you learned a big lesson in all of this? Yes, I have. To... What's the lesson? Because I know a lot of women out there are probably going through what you're going. What's the lesson? Dave. Don't sleep with two men at the same time. How about that? <laughs> so what type of father is Dave? He is a really good father. And if David leaves me, I'm going to be nothing without him. My life is going to be hurt. I'm going to be torn. Okay, James is here. And he's also kind of angry. He says he's adamant that... Your daughter is his child. He thinks it is. Here he is, James. James, come on up. <laughs> James, nice to see you. Well, James, you think that child looks like you? Yes. You think you're the father of that child? Yes. You tried to get in that child's life? Yes. You have? Yes. Is that true, David? I've told him where we live in it, and he's promised to come over and buy diapers and wipes. He's promised to do everything for the baby. He's promised to, uh, uh, to tell me when she needs diapers and wipes, and I'll come over, and he never shows up or nothing like that. Okay. James, what do you think of David? I think, honestly, he's not a good father. So. He's not a good father? No. Oh. No. Nah. Nah. Nicole, you think David's a good father? Yes, I do. He is a better father than If you're the father, you're going to get into this child's life, James? Yes. Okay, let's right. find out right now. <laughs> when it comes to one-year-old Ivory, David, you are not the father. <laughs> when it comes to one-year-old Ivory, James, you are the father. <laughs> See? I told you. I told David. you. <laughs> You don't know. Okay. Nicole? Nicole? I'll still be with you. When I got pregnant, he said it wasn't his baby. Since then, Carla has been homeless. You have to sell blood. Twice a week. I jumped that girl for a reason because she got fat. Carly, you made me sick. There is one person who helps you, your Aunt Marlita. Take care of your kid! This is not my baby. All right, we're going to see right now. Ah! Not my baby. That's not my baby. Of that baby, I was in a coma. You are her father! Well, let's find out. Carla, you okay? You. Yeah. All right, I'll get you some water. She's very upset. Because for three years, she thought she had a perfect relationship with her ex, a man named Terranius. <laughs> Terranius leaves town, the relationship ends. And that's exactly when Carla finds out she's pregnant with her now one year old daughter, Camiria. She finally finds Terranius. And when she did, she was heartbroken when he completely denied he could be the father. Since then, Carla has been homeless. She even has to sell her blood just to buy baby diapers. And all she wants is for Terranius to help raise her daughter. This is Carla's story. For three years, I was in love with Terranius. And he used to buy me things, he used to take me to the movies, he used to rub my feet, and now he just disappeared. When I got pregnant, he said it wasn't his baby. 
Tyranius is so mean. He says that I'm sleeping with everybody and I don't sleep with everybody. We struggling. We even stayed in the shelter. I even have to donate blood to take care of my baby and buy her pampers and everything. I want to tell Tyranius that it's his baby too. I did not have her by myself. You need to step up and be a man. How long had he disappeared for? A long time. Why did he deny your Because he said I'm a hoe, a slut. He said that ain't his baby. And I ain't, and he, he know I ain't never been with nobody else but him. I told him you were pregnant. <laughs> Was he happy? No, he said it wasn't his baby. Immediately, just like that? Yep. How does he treat you now, now that you found him? He bad, he talks about me all the time. Does he, he ever see the baby? No. He's never seen the baby? One time at the hospital, and he said it wasn't his because she was too light. You've had to struggle to take care of Camaria by yourself. Yes, I did. You have to sell blood. Yes, I have to sell blood twice a week. But there is one person who helps you. Yes, my auntie. Your Aunt Marlita. Yes, she Who do. is here? Yes. Aunt Marlita's here. <laughs> But first, we want to hear from Terrania. This is what the I'm here today to prove that I'm not the father of Carla Kid. I want to come on TV and embarrass myself. I know I'm not the father. I was out of time when she got pregnant. I think she just want me back. That girl, she with everybody. She a slut. She don't know who her baby's daddy is. Paul, you make me sick. When this paternity test come back and prove that I'm not the baby's father, I'm going to be the happiest man on earth. Woo. Tyrannus, Tyrannus, come on out. Why aren't you the father? Because she a hoe. I went out of town. No, you a hoe. She a hoe. I went out of town. If by chance this DNA test says you're the father, what are you gonna do? I'll be a man, step up and take care of the baby. Yeah, you baby. Not mine. Not mine. We see All right, right now we're today. gonna see right now. In the case of one year old, Camaria, Uranus, you are the father. No, that is your baby. just told you. Baby, I don't care about you getting back together with her. Oh, you ain't got to be with me long to take care of that child. And you told me you'd take care of that child. But I don't think he wants to get back with you. I don't want to be back with him. Marlita. You didn't take your responsibility. Now you're with your child, don't you? James was shot in the head. He slipped into a coma. I was there every single day, and now. I know I'm not the father of that baby. I was in a coma. So how can I be sleeping with her? Your mother's very upset at you. You are her father! Well, let's find out. You are the father. You're up on stage. I'm not like the father of that baby. I was in a coma. You are her father! Well, let's find out. Everyone, this is Mariah. Mariah's 20. She's been madly in love with a man named James since she was 13. Two years ago, James was shot in the head in a drive-by shooting. He slipped into a coma. So what did Mariah do? Mariah put her life on hold 
to nurse him completely back to health. Now, since then, James has recovered, and Mariah has given birth to a beautiful baby girl, Jemiah. But just when Mariah's life would be perfect, James starts to deny her daughter. And James claims that he was in a coma when she got pregnant. <laughs> this is Mariah's story. It breaks my heart when James denies my daughter Jemiah because he knows that that's his baby. The only person that helps him with the baby is his mom. I put my life on hold. I was there every single day when he was in the hospital, and now he treats me like I'm nothing. James denies my child. He hates her, slams the door in her face, calls her names because she's bald-headed. I just want to prove to him that he is a father and that I'm not a hoe. Well, that's understandable since you were there to nurse him back to health, but guess what? James's mother, Cynthia, is here, and she is on Mariah's side. <laughs> Not only does James deny the baby, he doesn't even treat the baby well. He doesn't pick her up. He slams the door in her face. Uh -huh. He calls her a bald-headed baby. What happened when James was shot? He had to learn how to walk again. I was the one by his side. I put my life on hold, and he doesn't appreciate nothing that I've done. Now, wait a second. Are you and James seeing each other? Yes. What do you think? You think that when you prove to him that he's the father, he's going to change? I hope. Well, we're going to meet the mother in a second, but first, this is what James has to say. Watch. I'm not, I'm not the father of that whole baby. I was in a coma, so how can I be sleeping with her? Unless she got pregnant by looking at me, I know I'm not the father of that baby. I'm hella mad that my mama chose Mariah over me. But today, when I prove I ain't the daddy, she owes me an apology. Mariah, I hate you. When the test come back that I ain't the father of your bald head baby, keep it moving. Wow. Here's James. <laughs> Hell no, I don't, I don't see her, lying? man. I don't, I don't see you. What are you talking about, man? Anybody? All these guys out here can get in the line. They can get in the line right now. She nursed you back to health. She ain't nursed me. I nursed, I nursed myself back to health, man. She was there the whole time. Man, I was asleep. I didn't even know she was even there. I was asleep. Your mother's very upset. Stop lying! You are lying! You know you was there! You are her father! You got to stop denying my grandma! Because you are her father! You are her father! you lucky to be alive? Yeah, I'm lucky to be alive, it's man. It's a blessing, Maury. Don't it's you think blessing. you should be smelling the roses and life every day? Go <laughs> well, find out. So, you gotta go. what's going to happen is if he is the father, I'm going to rely on you, Cynthia. Oh, you ain't got to worry about it, Maury. I got it all in the cup. You ain't got to worry about it. I'm hoping. Oh, right. he's the father. In the he's case the of eight months old, Jemiah. He's not the father. James, <laughs> you are the father.
you gonna do? I'm gonna take care of Jemaya. Oh, that's you sure are? I told you, I told you you was her father. I told you. So is she a bitch and a hoe now? Huh? Hello, little man. No, she's not. Okay, but you apologize to her. You owe her that. Get on your knees and apologize. And promise you'll never call another one. I promise I'll never call you another hoe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a 20 year old mom, and I don't deserve to be taking care of my child by myself. Buck says Katie is a psycho. <laughs> this girl poked holes in every condom we use. Well, you know what, guys? It didn't work. Fuck. <laughs> Of that baby, I was in a coma. You are her father! Well, let's find out. This is Kate. Katie's furious that her ex, a man named Buck, Buck's denying that he's the father of her one year old son, Jeremiah. Now, Katie claims this is a child they plan to have together. Buck says Katie is a psycho. <laughs> Buck says Katie was poking holes in the condoms in an attempt to. Buck says he can't be the father of this child because the doctor said he has a low sperm count. <laughs> this is what Buck's denying to Katie. I'm a 20 year old mom and I don't deserve to be taking care of my child by myself. The whole reason I even got pregnant in the first place was because Bucky told me he wanted to get married and start a family. Buck says that I'm a whore and a slut and that he's not my child's father. I literally have to beg my family and all my friends to help me with my son because his dad won't. When these test results come back, I want Buck to be a father to our son. Katie, breaking your heart, isn't it? Yeah. You never thought this would be? No. You ever hear about his low sperm count? After I went and after he went and found out that I was pregnant, he went and told me that it wasn't his because he wasn't around and that he was told by a doctor that he couldn't have children. Now, when the day you gave birth, you get a phone call. What was that all about? I got a phone call from a girl who lived in his town telling me that the day that I was in the emergency room having my son, he was having sex with her. Well, what Buck had to say. Watch this, everybody. For the last year, Katie has been telling me that I'm her son's dad. I'm not going to fall for it. She keeps trying to, like, use me and trap me. Katie is, like, psycho. This girl poked holes in every condom we use. Well, you know what, guys? She ain't getting me because it didn't work. I'm not that child's father. When I was 15, I had a doctor tell me that I had a low sperm count. I couldn't have kids. How does this girl possibly think that I'm her child's father? Katie's a good girl and all, but there's no sense in me taking responsibility for a child that ain't mine. And we're going to prove this today. Well, we're going to find out. Here's Buck. Buck, come on out. <laughs> you all go together. You slept together. Mm -hmm. All right. How do you know she's a hole poker? <laughs> Some of her friends flat out told me that she poked holes in the condom. And the doctor told you that? Yes. When I was 15, I'm sitting there, and I kind of got my high school sweetheart knocked up. Right. And she had a miscarriage at eight months, and we both had tests ran, and they told me I couldn't have kids. And if you're the father? If I'm the dad, I'm going to be there and take care of my own. Any, any chance of you and Katie getting back together? I don't see why not. Really? We're going to find out right now. You know, Buck, I know you will be a good father if you're the father. I got that feel. In the case of one-year-old Jeremiah, Buck, 
You are the father. You know, I try to take care of him for you and help you out with him, but it's you that seems like you don't want me to. Is that right? I go to do something, you push me away. Sometimes, I got it. Yeah. I don't, don't, don't sit down. You want to be there for him? I have been, haven't I? I got a phone call that a man named Presley <laughs> could actually have been my real father. When it comes to 22 year old Carrie, Presley. <laughs> father of that baby. I was in a coma. You are her father! Well, let's find out. This is Carrie. For 20 years, Carrie believed a man named Doyce was her father. Now, Doyce was a wonderful man. Provided for her, loved her very much. Sadly, when Carrie was 16, Doyce became gravely ill and passed away. One month later, after he died, all of a sudden, Carrie receives a phone call in which she discovers that a man named Presley, a complete stranger to her, may actually be her biological father. This is her story. My whole life, I believed that Doyce was my father. Yet in 2005, he passed away. A month later, I got a phone call that a man named Presley could actually have been my real father. I have never met this man named Presley. If he is my father, I would very much like to have a fresh start with him. If he's not, I'd like to have closure with that. But this is not a story, Carrie, where, you know, you didn't grow up with a father, you didn't have a father. You had a father. Yes. And a good father. Yes. Now, you've never seen this fella Presley. No. I want you to take a look at the screen. Look at this man and tell me how you feel. See a resemblance? You do? Did you see a resemblance with Doyce? Not like that. Not like that. What's life been like for two years? It's hard, just wondering who you are. There's been no attempted contact between the two of you. No. Before we reveal the results of the paternity test, let's hear, you're gonna hear him speak for the first time. This is what Presley has to say. One month after I stopped seeing Carrie's mother, I found out she was pregnant. And right away, I knew that there was a chance that the baby might be mine. I always tried to find her, but they moved around a lot, and I never could locate them. I have no children, and if Carrie was mine, she would be my first. We've never met, and I'm excited to meet her. Carrie, I hope you know that I always cared for you. Carrie, if you are my daughter, I would like to get to know you and your family a lot better. Here he is. Everybody, welcome to Presley. <laughs> you don't have any children? No, no. Never had any children. You think you all look alike? I think so. Did you used to come around? Did you used to talk to her mother about the possibility of you being the father? I always thought that I was. I felt in my heart that I was her father. And I've asked her mother several times, but I didn't want to break up her family. So on your side, you've always held out the possibility that she might be your daughter. Right. Let's find out right now. At least we'll end this mystery. Yeah. When it comes to 22-year-old Carrie, Presley. Now we both know. And everybody know. Everybody okay? know. I'm not the father of that baby. I was in a coma. You are her father! Well, let's find out. My whole life, I believed that Doyce was my father. Yet in 2005, he passed away. A month later, I got a phone call that a man named Presley could actually have been my real father. One month after I stopped seeing Carrie's mother, I found out she was pregnant. 
And right away, I knew that there was a chance that the baby might be mine. I think you all look alike. I think so. When it comes to 22-year-old Carrie Presley, you are not the father. Sir, I'm glad doors for us. And everybody knows. And all the questions are answered. And I thank you very much, Presley. You're a stand-up guy. Thank you so much for coming. Until next time, America.